Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing, freezing and performance issue with new world game on your Windows computer. Now, all the troubleshootings are not applicable if you're using server issue. So for server issue, this will not work. So the first step is to go ahead and close the game, restart your computer and then launch the game. So if the game is running, go ahead and close the game, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Now this has worked for many users, so it might work for you. Now the next step is to make sure that your hard drive or solid state drive has enough space. And also go ahead and disconnect second monitor. So if you have multiple monitors set up, go ahead and disable the second monitor or multiple monitor and then try to launch the game. The next step is to uncheck internet protocol version 6 for this. Go to the start menu, then click on settings and then go to network and internet. Click on change adapter options. Make a right click on your network and then select properties. Scroll down over here, you can see internet protocol version 6 TCP IPv6. If this is checked, go ahead and uncheck this and then click on OK and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to disable overlay. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game and then select properties. Under the general tab, uncheck the box which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then try to launch the game. Now if you have any other overlay application running in the computer. So if you have GeForce Experience running in the computer, go ahead and close GeForce Experience. Now if you have Discord running on the computer, go ahead and close Discord. So make sure that you close all the overlay application. Also close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI Afterburner running the computer, go ahead and close MSI Afterburner. Now in case if you have Revert Tuner running on the computer, go ahead and close Revert Tuner and then try to launch the game. Also perform clean boot. For this, go ahead and type in system configuration in Windows search box, then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. Make sure that you put a check over here first, then click on disable all, then click on apply, OK, and then you will see the restart option, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Also close all the background application. So go ahead and close everything, only the Steam and the game should be running. So make sure only Steam and game is running. The rest you can go ahead and close everything, even the browser. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD, go to AMD website. So I'm showing for Nvidia. So go to Nvidia website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select right graphic card and right operating system over here. And then click on search and then click on download. Again, click on download and once the download is complete, run this exe file. Then you will see this screen, click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the re installation restart your computer and then try to launch the game. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. For this, go ahead and type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings. Now go to settings, click on the first settings and then click on advanced tab on the top, then click on change over here. Now by default, this option would be checked which says automatically manage paging file. Uncheck this option and select the drive on which your game is installed and put a check on the box which says custom size. And over here, you have to go ahead and enter initial and maximum size. Now for initial size, it will be one and half into the total amount of system memory on your computer. And the maximum will be three times the initial size. So in my computer, I have eight GB RAM. So let me open the calculator over here. So in my computer, it's eight GB RAM. So eight GB RAM into 1024 is 8192 megabytes. And the initial size would be 1.3 1.5 into the total system memory. So total system memory in megabyte is 18192 into 1.5. So you go ahead and enter this for this because I have 8 GB. If you have 16 GB, you have to go ahead and calculate according to that. So initial size will be in my case, it's 12288. 
and the maximum size is actually the three times the initial size so maximum size is three times the initial size so into three for me it will be 36864 so enter the value over here 36864 so you have to go ahead and calculate as per your RAM and then click on you have to go ahead and click on set and then you have to click on OK and then click on apply OK OK and then try to launch the game all the details are provided in the video description so you can go through it but the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this go to the start menu then click on settings and then go to update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link this link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 and 19 so run both x86 and x64 version you have to go ahead and click on both the exe file and once the download is complete run both the exe file so run both x86 and x64 now you will see the repair or install option so click on repair or install whatever you see run run both the files sorry i need to run this file this file is already running x64 you have to run x86 then so run both x86 and x64 click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now once both the installation is complete you can go ahead and restart your computer so you can click on restart over here or you can close this box click, click on the start menu then click on the power icon then click on restart and after the system restart you can go ahead and try to launch the game the next step is to verify the game files for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the local files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification go ahead and try to launch the game the next step is to for is for laptop users with dual graphic card so if you computer came with dual graphic card make sure that you're running the game on the dedicated graphic card for this go ahead and type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now go to browse click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed in your case it may be in c drive so open c drive then open program files x86 then open the steam folder then open the steam app folder then open the common folder over here you will find the game folder in my case it's in d drive so i will open the steam folder steam apps common and then open the new world folder and then select the game exe file select the launcher first and once this is added click on options select high performance then click on save again click on browse and then this time open bin 64 folder then you will find the game exe file over here new world exe click on add and once this is added click on options select high performance then click on save and then try to launch the game the next step is to allow the game to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus installed in your computer go ahead and allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now in case if you are using windows security in that case go to the start menu then click on settings and then click on update and security and then if you have windows 10 uh, 11 if you have windows 11 you will find uh, windows security under privacy and security in windows 10 it's update and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection and then scroll down over here you can see manage ransomware protection click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access then click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder so let me find the steam folder steam apps common and then open the game folder and then select the launcher first and then add the game exe file also bin 64 new world exe add it once the game is added over here try to launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator for this go to steam make a right click on the game and then click on manage then click on browse local files and this will straight away take you to the game installation folder you have to open this bin 64 folder do not run launcher as an administrator otherwise you will receive some kind of error so do not put launcher into admin just open bin 64 
folder and then make a right click on the game exe file new world and then select properties go to go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply and then click on ok and then try to launch the game from here check now the next step is to try window mode so go ahead and first of all launch the game in case if you are able to launch the game now once you launch the game go to settings click on this gear and then go to visuals and then you can, from here you can go ahead and select window mode you can also try to lower down the resolution from here and also try to lower down all the graphic settings over here so if everything is set to very high or high you can go ahead and select medium or low so for everything you can go ahead and for me i have set everything medium you can go ahead and select this or you can even try low and once you apply the settings you can go ahead and try to launch the game once again and that should improve the performance now in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and uninstall the game for this go to steam make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall and after the uninstall go to the installation folder go to the installation location and delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game and if you can go ahead and try to reinstall the game to a different drive so if you can install the game in c drive if you have ssd try to install the game on ssd and then check so one of the steps should help you to get your game working on your windows computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel